so Sonic quickly because um, I've got to get my shit together and go. This is the outfit for tonight. So I'm wearing um, this top that I got from Portman's, my black belt that I've had for ages and it's still going strong. I can't remember where I got this. I think I got it in Sydney. Who knows? Um, I got this shimmy shimmy black skirt from Basque, um, which is a really beautiful material actually. I'm doing a casual gig tonight, so I'm just wearing some like tiny um, wedge slippy on shoes that are comfy and kind of go neutrally with the outfit. Just whacked my hair up because I didn't have time to wash it, got my fave earrings in and I'm ready to go. So this is our performance venue for tonight and even though I've been actually performing here for quite a few years um, on and off, this view never gets old. like the chilled out, most chilled out venue ever. It's the best. And this is where we are, just here in the sun, but it doesn't stay sunny for long. Tiny clock. Ooh, check it out. I love it. It looks kind of retro, so I've got it next to my Mr. and Mrs. Smith um, in the new house. Oh, stop glaring light. Obviously, I haven't put anything in that one yet, and I need some candles for that, but you know, the whole retro thing is going on. Anyway, it is 20 past six, and we are. God, I always get the, I get the biggest jitters just before any show. It doesn't matter that I've been performing for years. I still get jitters before the show. It's, um, it kind of happens the morning of, and then a little bit like now, kind of when I'm getting ready, um, I kind of get a little bit stressed. And then when we go and I get there, I'm fine. I'm completely fine. And then I have an awesome time performing and it's like wicked fun. But yeah, it's now and the morning of, I get, yeah, jitters. <laughs> but, um, so I've done my, my hair and my makeup, but I'm still looking like a drug dealer with these bags under my eyes. Thank you, arthritis. But anyway, um, the big mistake that I make is, and I've done it again, I've done it again. I put a t-shirt on that doesn't have a very big neck hole. <laughs> so when I have to put my glittery dress on over my hair, it's very difficult. And I've done it again. You think I would live and learn? But this is, this is what happens. You get the jitters before a show and then you forget the important things like changing your shirt before you do your hair. 
Anyway, so Minky is doing backing vocals for me tonight, which I'm very excited about. She can do tonight, but not tomorrow night, because she's got another gig, unfortunately, tomorrow. Um, but she is coming over, and I'm going to do her makeup, and then we're going to head to the show. I've got to find out if my keyboard player, Ben, wants a lift with me as well, because he hasn't got back to me. And I don't want to get to the fringe festival and find out that I don't have a keyboard player because he's back at my house going, where the hell are you? <laughs> um, and the other thing, I've been so busy since I got back from London. Like it's been, it's just been ridiculous. So the other thing I've forgotten to do is I haven't printed out the trumpet chart book. So I've got the saxophone chart book, but not the trumpet one. I have one in boxes coming to Australia from London, but I don't have one here for him. And I did not have time to print out another copy so he's just gonna have to share with with Paul sorry Ben anyway there's two Ben's in my band there's Ben Nee who plays the keyboard and there's Ben N Ben N with two N's Ben N um, who plays trumpet anyway um, yeah so I've got my makeup here just behind me in my I like kind of this spot here because it's kind of really nice natural lighting uh, I've got the doors right here to the back door so it's, it's a good spot for the makeup to happen if you do it before it goes dark because you get like the full frontal of natural light and you can sort of get see like every nook and cranny and how bad your skin is and all of that kind of stuff. Because you know when you do your makeup sometimes in like a nice soft lighting and then you see yourself in harsh lighting and you're like, what the fuck was I thinking? So this is a good setup because you get like a true... A true representation of your face anyway um yeah I'm gonna go and put my shiny shiny dress on and get ready for the show so this is the this is the outfit for tonight Shwink. Shwink. Uh, there will be extra sparkles in terms of necklaces uh, so we have let's just get in a little bit closer here we've got Super, super, super sparkly. Let me see if I can make this. That's better. Focus. So we've got super, super sparkly earrings, super sparkly here. We shall have super sparkly necklaces, super sparkly dress, <laughs> super sparkly ring. Then, uh, this is my dress. I got this from, oh god, I can't remember. Um, I got it online. I'll link it below. Um, but they have heaps of gorgeous dresses like this, with which are just exquisitely made. They're really heavy because they've obviously got all these beads, um, but they're just beautiful. And then I've got my super sparkly, sparkly, sparkly shoes, and these look really great under the lights because they get all shiny under the light, sparkly. So yes, it's kind of sparkle central. As a jazz singer for Fringe, a Fringe World performance, doing a 1920s show should be. <laughs> We are backstage. Mickey is all ready yeah. to go. Oh, ah, look at her, she's getting a huggy with Benny. Oh, I was, I'm doing video, dude. Oh, what? what? Okay. I'm doing my photo. Uh, I'm just there, like, frozen. <laughs> I'm like, I know, I'm like, oh, she's looking all huggy with Benny. Like, cozy, but <laughs> ah. uh, the rest of the band. <laughs> What's that? Oh. Yeah. They seem totally fine. Okay. Something yeah. about music stands. And Dario was here. It's always the music stands. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, those music stands. Ah, there's me. Yeah. We're backstage for the show. You said that. Oh, you're doing some new one. No, it's uh, yes. <laughs> <sighs> And I'm just stressing out massively because there was a ridiculous amount of traffic. There was, there was. And then my favourite car park was full. And what so, were they thinking? People? I know, we had to improvise. Yeah, but... It was, and then it was a mad dash up the road to get here. And yet we're here. We're jazz musicians. We can improvise. This is true. Uh, this is us like trying to get everything ready before the show. <laughs> Yes. 
Yes. You did. <sighs> I'm home. I finished the show. It was really good fun, actually. Uh, I really like it when Minky um, is part of the show. My backing vocalist Minky, because she just, I don't know, it's just really good fun. It's like an extra special party when she's on stage. Ben was on fire cracking the jokes tonight, which was great to see. Um, really good. Oh, boom. Sorry, eating fruit. I always get like the late night munchies after after the show. Um, it's a really good first give back. Um, after coming back from London, so first give back here in Australia. Um, yeah. Super happy. I really love performing. It's good fun. Um, late night munchy remedy. Toasted cheesies on toast. Oh. Um, yes, they're not ready yet. But they will be delicious when they are. I cannot wait. I'm very hungry. Starving Marvin. Um, and then I may get around to tackling this, this mess here which is my makeup that gets dumped here after the gig. Uh, and there's more mess in my bedroom as well. So yes, someone is going to have to, yeah, I'm in my pajamas. Ooh, yes. Someone's going to have to clean this stuff up. And that someone is me, unfortunately. And we do it all over again tomorrow night because we've got like a two night run for fringe. Um, I decided not to do more than two nights just because I knew that coming back from London I was just going to be pooped and I was right. So, so, oh, ah, um, yeah, but I'm really looking forward to the show tomorrow night. There are a few things that happened, um, and this is me being self-critical about the music again, as musicians always do. We always kind of come off stage and people have a great time at the show and then we're like, this went wrong, this went wrong, oh, you didn't do this, I didn't do that, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't know, we do it every single time, but yeah, there were a few things that kind of went wrong with um, the endings of different songs and also the tempo of some songs and I kind of felt like it wasn't built up enough in some songs, but anyway, so yeah, it'll be nice to remedy those tomorrow night. So I'm going to leave the vlog here tonight and I will see you tomorrow. Now I'm going to go and watch... Um, how to Train Your Dragon, The Race to Dragon's Edge. <laughs>